Let's talk about sleeve bearings today. Sleeve bearings are simple and economic design with wide application in rotating machinery. And they are fixed geometry hydrodynamic bearing. As the shaft spins, the filament pressure is generated due to wedge effect. This generate pressure lift the shaft. Two axial groove sleeve bearing have oil distribution grooves. Typical groove circumferential length is 5% of bearing inner diameter. Two wide groove lengths could induce increasing in power loss. So it is important to have optimum groove lengths. These oil grooves provide uniform bearing cooling and lubricant distribution. Typically the feed grooves oriented 90 degrees away from the load line. If the feed grooves are too close to the load line, they start acting as a pressure sink instead of pressure source. The fixed geometry bearings can achieve a higher stability threshold by adding the axial grooves. With more grooves, the more fluid rotation in the bearing is reduced. Please see the video in part 10 for more information. Sleeve bearings typically have C over R ratio of 0.001. This means that if you have 6 inch shaft outer diameter or bearing inner diameter, the bearing radial clearance is 3 thousandths of an inches. And the typical bearing radial clearance tolerance range is 1 thousandths of an inches. Please note that too high flow rate increases the power loss. Also, too low feed pressure can induce cavitation. Here is an example of air ingestion phenomenon due to low feed pressure. So, establishing the optimum feed pressure is essential. Lastly, these small relief grooves at the end of the feed land is important to maintain longer bearing life. Alright, this is all I have for you today. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.